Well, welcome back. The Democratic strategy regarding the southern border crisis is pretty clear. Divert attention away from the chaos that they created and focus on the so-called political stunts Republicans have undertaken as a response to the Democrats' inactivity in addressing the problems at the border. Joining us now is Texas Congressman Pete Sessions, who knows a thing or two about the border. Congressman, always good to see you. Thanks for being with us tonight. You know, Sean, I'm a little surprised that you chew up on your birthday. Listen, it's a commitment to the show and to the viewers and to the country. So, uh, you know, listen, it's um, I, I can't I can't say no. I can't say no. Uh, but, you know, as I just mentioned, the Democrats continue to beat the drum over Republicans who are transporting these people coming into our country illegally to cities and states that are sanctuary states. They have claimed that they want these people, and they're calling it a political stunt. But as someone who's had a front row seat of this ongoing crisis down there in Texas, what's the perception about what's really happening from people in Texas? Well, the perception really is, is that they see literally millions of people. When, when you go from Yuma, Arizona, which is on the California line with Arizona, all the way to the tip of Texas, literally millions of people who are invading, coming across, uh, not just to the state of Texas, but New Mexico and Arizona. And they are doing so because they're encouraged to, 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 to do that. They go through people's land in Texas. They kill animals. Uh, they take advantage of environmentally sensitive areas. But the worst part is, is that this is an invitation against the laws of the United States. The president of the United States has taken advantage of effective federal law enforcement who now are violating their oath of office based upon the president of the United States. And it is sad, as we have seen in community after community all across this country, not only the flourishing of drugs, but the deaths that have come associated with these terrible drugs, heroin, methamphetamines, and fentanyl. And so it is ruining a, not just a generation of young Americans, it is causing people to become addicted to these dangerous drugs that is killing our children. And this is the cost that is being made by every single Democrat in Congress and this administration who not only have given them free license by being quiet, but what they're doing is funding this effort also. And this is where Completely Kamala right. Harris and the president and Secretary Mayorkas have left their constant duties, constitutional duties behind and are playing politics. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. You guys see it more than anyone else. I do want to shift gears and talk about the commitment to America that was rolled out today, because you are one of a handful of people that have a very unique perspective, Congressman, because you were part of the class that came in in 1994 that actually signed the contract with America. And, and so you have a very, very unique perspective on what's going on today. Do me a favor. For our viewers, compare and contrast the political climate back then and now in the contract to the commitment, if you will, like what, what, what you did then and what's happening now? Well, the contract with America was signed on the steps, uh, the uh, West Staffs steps of the Capitol, and spoke specifically 12 or 15 points about things that we would bring to Congress that were ideas about fixing the things we saw at the time. Since then, we have had a number of presidents, including President Bush, but perhaps more specifically Donald Trump, who then answered those questions to make Americans stronger and better. Look, President Bush, without question, stood up to the threat of our time, and that was 9-11. So proud of President Bush by what he did. President Trump stood up, and with the Republican Congress, House and the Senate gave America the greatest opportunity for economic prowess of more than a generation, but in an entire world. So we have proven that if you cut taxes, you get more revenue. If you become the envy of the world, then you not only add jobs, but you add billions of dollars, $500 billion of investment that builds back into America vibrancy 
that ends up in being take home pay. So if you look at what President, let's say, Obama did, what President Obama did is he grew the economy about 50 cents a week to the average across the country. To every single American, it turned out to be 50 cents. Donald Trump and Republicans working together added six dollars. It was take home pay. It was producing not only GDP, but it was moving our country forward. As you remember, the first year of President Obama, 0% GDP growth. Now we look at President Biden and the economy contracts by 1.4%. That is taking back what would be hard earned money by the American people and then sticking it to all of us with inflation. So the difference is now we know that the differences between the parties is enunciated in what we're going to accomplish. I think that uh, what I saw yeah. today was very nonspecific, but it's very directional. And we need to make sure Republicans sell the fight to the American people and get them to come and vote us back in the majority with the confidence that we can give them about turning around not just constitutional government, not just at the border, but economically the things which we have done in the past, which you know, as chairman of the Rules right. Committee, we very effectively did in 12, 13 forward. Yeah, and, and you were a, a vital part of that, not just uh, back in 94, but subsequently, and I think that's what's hopeful about getting back in the majority, is, is someone like you gets back into a leadership position to guide this shift. Congressman Pete Session, thanks for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to spend my birthday with you, and, uh, and I wish you have a great weekend. Thank you, Sean. Tell your parents I said hi. <laughs> Will do. Will do. Thank you very much.